Jewel is uh, well known for, and that is Robin's item play. And I am, honestly, I don't have half the brain to keep track of what this could potentially turn out to be, but we'll find out. Okay, regardless, we're getting right into the start of... When did he take 24? Mm -hmm. That All was right. the <laughs> Oh! That's a tough spot to be in. Can't jump out of that. Yeah, and... Zane managing to put Jewel in the corner just by exploiting his own free will. Mm -hmm. And that's an interesting thing there. That covered uh, Jewel's movement option, the tech that he tried to use to jump out of, I believe that was a wave bounce. Um, that can was there to hit him for it. I love the coverage of going for arc fire in that exact spot, knowing that it's going to travel across the entire stage. Zane had to retreat. Oh no, here's the damage, here it comes. Oh okay. no, he fell out of the last one. Very nice. Yeah, really lucky for Jewel right there. Or good SDI, who, mm -hmm. who knows? May have been um, SDI, because that, that's usually how that string ends if you're coming up into the air like that. Gets actually caught on the air with the can a little bit. Here's that item play coming. you were talking about. Mm -hmm. You see the sword, once it gets discarded, Jewel is always ready to grab it. And that's a projectile that, considering the fact that normally Robin's projectiles take a while, you know, you see them coming at you. The fact that the items are just almost nigh instant is just, it, it adds a dimension of variation to the item play that, just the projectile game that mm -hmm. it, it becomes so hard to deal with. It's not as nearly as visual as Duck Hunt's as well. Duck Hunt, you have a can. Okay, you can tell can is there. Robin, oh, I've got a book now. And then you get hit with a textbook. You get hit with your math homework in second grade, and then you fail. <laughs> Lose a stock. All right, a little bit of spacing out here, trying to Ooh. find their space. Trading hits. Yeah. This looks about right. This is the point now where either one of them could be closing out the stock at any second. The, we were talking about how it's so hard to anticipate the books, but Zane anticipated it, shielded it, and picks up the stock just a second later. That, that was the same deal right there. Jewel goes for that movement option a lot. That was covering the jump outside of that movement option that would kill the boy. All right, Can. And see, that's the thing. Even if Can doesn't hit, it's the fact that it's covering all this space so consistently. Zane just has to have the presence of Bind to kick the can over. I, did, was that a trade with the where he s still got hit by the? Uh, anyway, I, there sure. isn't even enough time to dwell on it. <laughs> this game just continues onwards, and all of the damage being dealt to both of them. Oh, was that a combo? That's sick. All right, get up, attack on the can to try to shoot it back, and Arc Thunder is there. No conversion to death on this one, but it is looking a little scary for Zane in terms of percent. All right, Nair to keep him off. I cannot believe ran across the entire stage to go for that grab. All right. And Arc Thunder putting the pressure on as well so that Jewel has a little bit more space to recover here. Okay, but, oh, Jewel, he's been oh, no. trapped at the corner for a while. Mm -hmm. Wow, that for okay, that forward air from, like, mid-stage earlier didn't kill at 150. All of a sudden, it's killing at 110 because, like, that's how much stage positioning matters for a character like Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. I believe oh. that might have been the back air, actually. That might have been... Oh, uh, was that the back air? Yeah, a, oh. uh, a raw back air or the attack cancel back it, air. Okay, that's actually... Well, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, mm -hmm. Duck Hunt's back air is significantly stronger than the forward air. So it was good go. for Zane to make sure to go for the raw to finish off. The All right, that's good. All right, so looking pretty tight. This is doable for both parties. Jewel does have confirms that he can get in and do a heck of a lot of percent. Okay, this is look at the way that Jewel is in, just going in, invading mm -hmm. Zane's space in a way that we had not seen at all earlier in this game. Mm -hmm. just by dy just absolutely dynamically changing it up for the last stock. It seems like Zane wasn't quite ready for that. Mm -hmm. it, it is a very intimidating uh, change in play style when the zoner starts to run at you, especially if they've got tools to kill you like Robin does. Oh, can moving the other way. Zane finds their way back. Okay, we don't have, there isn't much left on that Levin sword, which means he's gonna turn it into a projectile. <gasps> the can sent him so far away though. <laughs> Bash mm -hmm. dancing in front of his shield. It always it always makes my heart pound. Mm -hmm. uh, low angle, look at that covery. Look how it knocks it back. A beautiful DI. He's going to be surviving. Trying to look for that one hit that he needs. An arc fire right in his he, face. He's hitting all the projectiles. Gunman, gone. Can, burnt to cinders. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, but at this point, Jules at 180. Duck Hunt can't struggle to kill at times, and that's this what is, we're seeing right now. This is max rage, though. This is like one forward air from Jewel oh, when he wins. Stuck. That's it! 
Oh, he's oh, shaking his head. Oh, say no's too. Earlier on, when he had him in the grab, mm -hmm. when there was that grab going on and the cam was right there, I don't know what happened. He inputted a forward throw instead of he could have gone for an up throw and thrown him into the can. I think that's what he's oh, that's what I he's see, really shaking his head about. I could be wrong. There might have been some reason why that wouldn't have worked, but mm -hmm. I I feels like that should have been the the because even if he was just gonna throw him errantly, I uh, could just throw him off stage with a back throw. So. <laughs> And another part of that is that it may not come up too much here because Duck Hunt is fairly mobile. There's a lot of on-stage play here with the projectiles. But one of Robin's win conditions, essentially, is arc fire in the ledge into an aerial. Um, and it seems that Zane had essentially taken the ledge option into it. Well, and it's, he had to re-grab the ledge, I believe. There was oh, a ledge re-grab involved, which I think might right have just been that. a straight-up flub for Zane. So Zane... Had kind of had two mistakes at the end there, or at the very least, a mistake and a misplay. That's all you need at this level to uh, lose the stock. It's very tight. All right, all right. And safe fair. Oh, oh, yep, he dropped the shield. He knew. That's better. It's better to take that damage than to lose the stock. Oh, and Nosferatu coming through, just making that percent gap even wider. Did you see how Jewel had the read with the up smash there on the air dodge in? And it was correct. Zane just did it late. Oh, got the him out of thing that is, situation. Like, late timings like that, especially for defensive options, it's totally different than, like, just because they air dodge. If they air dodge a little bit later than you anticipate, then, yeah, it's going to work. Mm -hmm. They're going to get past you. Absolutely. Oh, scary position to be in with Can right there. <laughs> it's so funny seeing the trade of projectiles like, oh yeah, here's a magical fire, here is a frisbee, here is a disc. Yeah, like when you're playing against Jewel, it's honestly worth watching the meter. It's so hard to because you're seeing projectiles and there's pressure from across the stage, but it does give a little bit of insight in terms of when you have to worry about the little book or the, the sword. Mm-hmm. And that is something that's going to have to be available here because it does also offer something in Robin's game plan that's not usually there except maybe when you have Thorn, which is a fast, very far distant projectile that does a lot of damage. Yeah, finally closing out that stock, but at the same time, I believe the way that Nosferatu works is actually the more damage that Robin has, the more the, the stronger it is and the more uh, health it will restore. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right, but I would definitely have to check. It's been a minute since I've seen this character. All right, rolls into, Ooh. see, and you've got that coverage too with the can behind. It makes it difficult to retreat, so then, okay, you have to deal with my zoning. Approach me. Look at oh, this. Look at the pressure on the shield. Jewel has had no time to get out of the corner and breathe. Finally setting up walls with those arc fires just to prevent the projectiles right. from continuing to exert pressure. But at this point, oh. The crew needs to be looking away to close out the stock. Arc fire into aerial will probably do it, but Zane being aware of that is dodging them ever so expertly. Oh, good pickup! I thought for sure that was just going to be the arc fire for uh, a little bit of space control, but he got the conversion on that. All right, the chase up. Ball is now in Zane's court to close this stock on Jewel before too much extra credit is gained. Yeah, and this is the sort of thing where if you're Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt has really good... Uh, oh, mm. did, he, did he run out of the book? Might have. Might have also been trying to grab the sword and then go into the um, L Wind. They might have just been overextending it. Because there. you could hear the um, the aerials being whipped there, and then the sword went out of hand. But hard to say. All right, arc fire across the stage. That does give you full screen presence with that. It's nutty. Oh okay. no, big damage time. Oh, and if you're Jewel, honestly, this was your game to lose. You had the lead against Duck Hunt, who's a character that can really struggle to close out stocks, as we've already seen. Last game, Jewel lived to like, what, 180 or something like that? So the fact that you dropped a stock to what we kind of are assuming was an SD, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, not to say that Jewel is or it's not like Jewel has already lost. He still has the lead here. Mm -hmm. Still only one arc fire aerial away, probably from winning the entire set right now. But at the same time, Zane. I did on that. I think that just broke the shot put, and then that had a little bit of damage there because that didn't look like the down smash hit on that. Can still in play, covering ledge. Oh, that's it. That is the win condition. Arc fire ledge, Thoron, or forward smash, or forward air. It's scary. I mean, scary also, that, that Thoron just stays out for a while. So even if, you know, the, the aerial might have been a bit of a commitment. So instead, 
you know? Just throw that arc fire. Look it's at this. There. It's hanging out there. Eventually, the I don't actually he, don't he, know if invincibility ran out. Already knows. Yeah. It's over. Boosh. Just like the opening cinematic. The lead of the game. He's gone. Uh, Duck oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 